Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365 I'm Dan Herring. It's New Year's, so Happy New Year, but more importantly, it's Top Water Tuesday! And today, I need your help. Because recently, I was going through some of my dad's lures, and I came across this guy. So it's a rat slash mouse bait. You can tell by that lip angle that it is a wake bait, right? A wake bait is meant to be reeled in and it stays on the surface and it makes a wake. And the way you can tell if a bait is a wake bait is when you see the angle of the lip being that steep, almost 90 degrees, well, it's not gonna go down very far. It's gonna stay up on the surface. And I got looking at this rat and the more I looked at it, the more impressed I got, there's a lot of detail on it. I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually whiskers sticking out of the nose of this guy. He's got whiskers. Uh, real, real hair. Real, real whiskers coming out. And I, uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of this bait. It's, uh, it's got a mesh. You know, it's a jointed bait. It's got mesh holding it together. It's only got one hook, which is fine because it's not a big bait and any, a bass would easily get this thing completely in its mouth. So I'm fine with it just having one hook. I need to change that though to one of my EWGs. It's got these two legs and these legs are soft. See how they move? See how that leg, those legs move? And then it's got this soft bluish tail. The belly is clear with a little bit of, I don't know, mustard or yellow color on there. I mean, it's just a pretty cool bait, and, and but I haven't, I don't know who makes it. I, I, you know, Strike King has a lure, it's not this one. Uh, Savage Gear has a rat, it doesn't look like this. I'm wondering if this is an older Savage Gear rat, because sometimes they change their baits, they just stop making them, and all of a sudden they come out with something else, and it's similar but not the same. If you know what this bait is or who makes it, let me know in the comments because I have no idea. It's got this real nice tail. It's got these real little legs coming off. It's hard plastic here and then a little bit of soft plastic coming out of the out of these little tubes on the back and it makes for these little legs that move. And then it actually has two points of fishing. It's got an eye here that you can attach to, but it also has a eye with a split ring coming off the lip. I would imagine if you attach it to the top one, that would keep it up a little bit better. And at the bottom one, maybe it would dive a little more. I'll have to play with that to see. And so, you know, a very interesting bait. I like wake baits. I like mouse lures. I've caught some big bass on mouse and rat type lures in the past. It's got eyes. It's got ears. Very realistic looking uh, bait. I sure wish I knew who made it. And if I discover who it is, before I release this video, I'll put it in the description of the video. So the very next thing we should do now is take you out in the water and we'll see how this thing works. I've never thrown it before, so I'll be learning as we go, but let's take a look at it. This thing looks like when it sits in the water. So it sits completely flat, kind of the way you would think a, uh, a wake bait should do. Now let's see how it works it out there a little ways. We'll see. So where I have it hooked right now, it actually wants to go under the water on a very slow retrieve. I can keep it up top. See how it wants to go down? <coughs> show you that again. So it takes a real slow retrieve this way to keep it up top. Extremely slow, but it even works that way still. It's still wiggling. And that tail's moving and the feet are moving too. I really like the look of this bait. It looks even better than I thought it would in the water. And even underwater, like you can make it dive and pop back up again. That's not bad either. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like when we put that hook on where the split ring comes on this bait. I don't know if this is gonna stay up higher or go down lower. We'll get it on here in a minute and see. Okay, let's take a look. <clears throat> it 
So no, that stays up a little bit better. And look at those feet. So let's let's show you this thing out there a little ways. <coughs> so you can just make it wake under the water. You can fish it faster this way. Stop and go. Ooh, you can even make it turn to the side. Yeah, that's gonna catch fish. <laughs> I like this thing for like those shallow water lakes like Shahola. Look how I can make it go here and then stop. Go and stop. Look how those feet move too, because they're flexible. These feet are flexible. See that? It's cool. I like it. Yeah, subtle, but but uh, boy, oh boy, I could see that catching fish this summer. Let's take it back to the boathouse and we'll talk a little bit more about this thing. Well, my thoughts on seeing the bait in the water, I, I like it. It, uh, it surprised me in that I thought hooking to the top would, uh, would keep it on top more. It actually dove more that way. Hooking it to the bottom where the lip is kept it on the surface and it made it, made it make a wake more. The wake is subtle, but I like that because it seemed to me more lifelike for being a rat or a mouse. If it was real wide action, I don't think that would look as real as, as it came off with the subtle wake because the, the legs are moving, the tail's moving, and the, the thing just makes that wake. And you can kind of make it go underwater an inch or two, and then when it comes up, it turns to the side like it's hurt or injured. This is going to be a fun lure to fish, <laughs> especially in the summertime. It's a bait I would fish. You know, in the summer months, especially in the months of August and September, I think it would be a good bait for the evening when the lake settles down. Good time to throw the bait at that time. Or maybe first thing in the morning when the lake is calm. Something like that, shallow water, and uh, it could be a fun bait to throw. I, I've caught them on mice lures quite a bit in the past, and this is another one that I'll add. I, I might make a video on this come summertime just for fun because I, I know I can catch them in the right circumstances on this bait and it could be a fun thing to do. So what I would use for this, you know, I'd use a typical top water setup. I have this top water rod, these Daiwa top water rods. I also just bought a, a new rod that uh, I have to set up yet. I've got a reel on it, but I have to put line on it yet. It's a Cashin Icon rod, a Cashin Icon top water rod. It's because I broke one of my Daiwas. I had three of these Daiwas, I broke one. So I got this Cashin. And, and I haven't fished it yet, but I like everything I've seen on it so far. It has the right feel to it. Uh, I got a nice reel on there. So it's uh, when, I get line, when I get line on that reel and get a chance to uh, get it out and experiment with it, I'll let you know how I feel about it. But I think I'm going to like it. The line I would use with this, typically for me, I'd use a 20-pound braid, Spiderwire Self, Stealth, Power Pro. One of those two is fine. And then I would use a leader a couple rod lengths of leader in this case i'd use monofilament 12 to 17 pound test should do the trick for a bait like this and i think you're all set to go and i have found since the beginning of the video i do believe that this bait was made by savage gear i think this was a, a precursor to the 3d rat or the 3d mouse or whatever it's called they have now because i saw pictures of it and it had this same mesh that today it looks different there's a little piece in between here but this is the the mesh that it used to have i saw some older images of it online and it had the same eyes the same ears the same whiskers the same tail same legs so it, i'm pretty sure this was a savage gear bait and i'm looking forward to trying it out come this summer well i hope you found the video informative on another different bait here and let me know your thoughts maybe you have experience fishing this bait if you do if you fish this savage gear rat or mouse uh, please let me know Just comment in the comments and let me know what you thought of it how did it work for you did it catch fish did you did you think that uh, it's a good bait not a good bait would love to hear your opinion on it if you have some experience with it you know, it's New Year's Day today and I was out catching stripers at Beltsville Lake. That's a video that we'll be putting out a little bit uh, down the line. But it was a fun day out on the water and I can't wait to get the next video to you. So keep it tuned here because we got a lot of good stuff coming up. If you haven't done so already, give me that thumbs up. That helps me get the video out to more people. Subscribe to the channel. 
And if you do subscribe, you may want to hit that bell. That'll give you a notification for when the next video is ready to go and ready for you to watch. I really enjoy having you as my audience and, and uh, love the, the support and feedback that I get. It's a, it's a very enjoyable thing to me, and it's deeply appreciated. Appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching. And as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.